We're Liz and Dennis, full-time reviewers on a mission to eat, see, and RV our way through North America. After an incredible time kayaking the bluffs of Lake Michigan and eating all of the delicious cheese in Door County last week, we make our way to the Wisconsin Dells, exploring the area's natural beauty, fun traditions, and amazing state parks. Travel with us this week as we show you a different side to the Dells. Welcome to Wisconsin Dells. The Dells is one of the most famous cities in all of Wisconsin. It's the water park capital of the world. There is no shortage of adrenaline and wet and wild fun activities to do here. There are so many theme parks and water parks to enjoy, making it a popular destination for families to get away, have some fun, and relax. But we're not gonna be exploring that part of the Dells. We are going to be taking a more laid back approach, enjoying some of the natural beauty that can be found around this area. Starting with a boat tour. I love a good boat tour. And today we are going to be exploring the upper Dells, which is supposed to be beautiful. There's some parts we get to get off and go for a walk to explore even more of this gorgeous area. I'm very excited. Beautiful sandstone rock formations and bluffs that have made Wisconsin Dells so famous were created by changing landscapes over millions of years. During the end of the last ice age, melting glaciers formed an immense glacial lake, eventually breaking through an ice dam, causing a catastrophic flood. The intense rapids of glacial water flowed into what is now known as the Wisconsin River, cutting deep, narrow gorges and unusual rock formations into the river banks creating the Dells we see today. The first stop on the Upper Dells boat tour is Stand Rock, a unique geological feature that was made famous by H. H. Bennett, who took the first ever stop action photograph of his son Ashley jumping the hair-raisingly wide gap in 1886. Humans are no longer allowed to make the jump today. Instead, one of four trained German shepherds make the brave leap helping us recreate the incredible image Bennett captured over 130 years ago. Our next stop is Witch's Gulch, a narrow slot canyon that felt like we were stepping back into the time of the dinosaurs. The shadowy passages, fern-covered rocks, and spooky sounds of hidden whirlpool chambers among the windy canyon walls were distinct from the rest of the riverside views. A unique experience that can only be explored with Wisconsin Dells boat tours. After the tour, we freshened up back at our campsite before heading out for dinner and drinks at the iconic Ishnala Supper Club. Other than cheese curds, I don't think anything is more iconic Wisconsin than supper clubs. In the Midwest, supper clubs are an institution. It's a place family can gather. It's a place that you go to any day of the week. It's a place for celebrations. And here in the Dells, there is a very famous supper club called Ishnala been voted the number one supper club in all of Wisconsin. And once you come here, you'll understand what makes Ishnala number one. 
it's an experience. The ambiance here inside of the restaurant as well as out, it just is so warm and inviting and it feels special. It's right on Mirror Lake. It's overlooking these beautiful vistas. They have a beach area and several outdoor balconies to enjoy. There's three bars for you to grab a drink at while you wait because it is first come, first serve. There's no reservations here. And because it is number one, it's very popular. So there's a very strong likelihood you will be waiting, but that's all right. Grab a drink, get an old fashioned specifically because it's what they're known for. They typically make theirs with brandy, but there's all different varieties that you can get. Ask the bartender here at Ishnala. We asked her earlier and she said they've made 70,000 old fashioned since April 8th. So in like a five month period, 70,000 old fashions, it's insane. But we're looking forward to a very fancy, nice, treat yourself meal and are already just loving the vibes here. This is definitely something that is a Wisconsin must do. Fried cheese curds. We tried fresh cheese curds in Door County. Amazing. So squeaky, so fresh. But in most places in Wisconsin, you'll find them, they're fried. That's a very typical way to serve them, including at Ishnala. For me being, this is my first time having fried cheese curds. It's almost like a mozzarella stick, but instead of red sauce to dip it in, they give you ranch. And the cheese curds very much are cheese curds. It's, I don't know, got more bite to it, more vibrancy than a mozzarella stick does. It's super tasty. <laughs> We're staying at two state parks during our time here in Wisconsin Dells. The first is Mirror Lake State Park. It's the closest to the city of Wisconsin Dells and will allow you the easiest access if you wanna do any of the fun activities in that area. But one thing I am loving so far about the state parks in Wisconsin is the fact that they are so private. This camping spot in particular it's surrounded by trees. We can't see any of the neighbors here and it's a huge state park. We have electricity at our site. Not all of the sites in Wisconsin state parks have electricity. So make sure if that's something that you want or need, you check for that. And like most state parks in the North we've found, they don't have water or dump at each site. There's just one central location. But we are actually packing up here today and we are going to be going to Devil's Lake State Park, which is about 20, 25 minutes south of here and is the number one most visited state park in all of Wisconsin. Today we're going to explore the state park by hiking. There is a huge trail system here, but the most popular hike is East to West Bluff Trail that goes around the lake. And you're supposed to see some really epic rock features on the hike. This is a really cool hike. All the rock formations, it's definitely steep at parts and very rocky, but doable. It's like just a really good workout. We made it to our first big destination on the hike, which is Devil's Doorway, which is a super unique rock formation that looks like an arch, but is actually made from water freezing and thawing, causing cracks in the quartzite. Another super cool rock formation. All of this that you see is, was formed by a glacier. And then when it melted, this rock was just set, like sat down by the receding ice. It is very, very cool. If you're into bouldering or rock climbing of any sort, this is like mecca of a place to do that. I don't think we're gonna be able to finish the entire west end of the loop. We hear thunder in the distance. We think we're okay on rain. But we're also getting a little hungry and there's a brewery in town that is calling our name. For 
for some reason, after we do a hike, I feel like beer is just deserved, right? We, we worked for it. <laughs> just outside of Devil's Lake State Park is Tumbled Rock Brewing. They're making some awesome beers. This is a lager with chamomile, ginger, and coriander. I think it's called the Dutch Farmer. And something that makes this unique is that the master brewer here, she was in the foster care system growing up. So for an entire month, they took all the proceeds from this specific beer and gave back to the foster care system in the area. So it's pretty cool. But they also have a restaurant on site. We ended up getting a delicious pizza with prosciutto, pear, gorgonzola, and this honey drizzle. And then they have this brick oven fired Brussels sprout appetizer with Parmesan and this horseradish cream. Oh, baby. The food here is really good. So I definitely recommend coming here if you're gonna grab a beer, grab some food. It's a really good ambiance. They're also a part of the Harvest Host Network. So if you're not able to secure a camping spot at Devil's Lake State Park, because it is very popular state park, it can be tricky to find a camping spot, you can come here and you get to park for free. Have some beers, have some pizza or some food, and then you can explore the trail system at Devil's Lake State Park in your downtime. But this is, I'm really happy we came here. Honestly, I had kind of low expectations. It was a very rural area, so I, I didn't really know what to expect. But dude, the food, beer, is great. We're packing up our spot now at Devil's Lake State Park. There was so many more trails and things we would have loved to explore. But with our limited time here, this state park does fill up quickly with reservations. You definitely want to book in advance if you're coming here so you have ample time to explore. We want to thank Travel Wisconsin for partnering with us on this video and helping make it a reality so we could share this beautiful place with you. Travel Wisconsin has been a super helpful resource for us as we were planning our travels through Wisconsin. They have great blog posts and articles about different things to do in each area, great places to eat, and kind of must-see destinations for what makes Wisconsin so special. So if you're planning a road trip or your next vacation to Wisconsin, make sure to check out Travel Wisconsin in the link below. And if you'd like to learn more about each of the places we visit, we always have links to those in the description of each video. We have more awesome adventures exploring in Wisconsin, so we will see you next week, Monday at six. If you liked this video, make sure to click like and subscribe. We'll see you next week. It's one of our visits. Are you drunk? No. <laughs> it's